What's going on, everybody? It's Erica with Not Your Average UDC. Tuesday morning, just woke up, and what's on my mind? Knives. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been doing these like Tuesday morning uploads lately where I literally just wake up, get out of bed, and talk about shit, which I'm actually really liking because, like, let's be honest, how many people would roll out of bed, look like they just crawled out of a dumpster, and make a video about a knife? Eh, not too many. But I love it. You guys get to see my real life. And I could give a shit less about what I look like. So, I just wanted to show off a few new pieces of gear that I've gotten because we had the trip to Ohio. Everything has been like super busy and I wasn't able to put them all into one video so it's been a little spotty but I just wanted to show the stuff that's going to be tested coming up all in one video. Uh, and also some of it's just really cool. So, one of the new things that I got when I got home from Ohio, it was delivered while I was gone, was this GEC Bullnose. So this will be tested on the channel at some point. I'm not sure when, because next month we're testing the native. Did I ever tell you guys that? Did I ever tell you guys that's what I'm testing in April? We're testing the um, LC200N native next month. So that will be next month's user. Um, I'm not... Maybe I would carry this with this. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But this will be next month's. This will be tested at some point. Um, absolutely gorgeous little piece. Thanks again, Ryan, for sending this over and giving me a deal maybe on it. I don't know. I paid 100 bucks. Maybe that's a deal. They're hard to find, so for me, it's a deal. Really glad that I was able to pick this up. Uh, so that'll be tested. And then, obviously, I have the... Bark River North Country EDC that I bought as well that came in while I was gone in CPM 154. So this will be put through some fun stuff as well. I'm really curious to see the differences between CPM 154 and 154 CM because I, um, I did not know that those were different until like only a few months ago. Like I'm learning so, so much about, um, knife steels and just everything in general. Like, I really am just very recently getting into the whole steel game. I, I'm, I'm not nearly as educated as most people, but I want to be. So I am going to try to figure out the differences between this and 154CM. That'll be fun. We had the um, uh, hopefully new and improved Magna Cut knife come in from John yesterday that we will be using. This is one that I'm starting to carry today. So the Junko is done. I made my video on that yesterday. We're gonna uh, start using this and see how it works with that fresh edge. Um, it's so weird. So this is the first time since I've known John that I'm not on his books anymore. Like the moment I found out about him years ago, um, I have been on his books without a break since I found out about him a couple years ago. It's crazy. Like literally I would, I would like save up my money and, and get my knife and as soon as it got here, like the day it got delivered, I would I would message John and get on the books again. And it would give me like two or three months to save up the, the money again to buy the next knife. And I've been doing that for years, like literally <laughs> just constantly being on his books and saving up the money for them each time because um, I, I love them. So uh, we will we will see about this Magna Cut. Like I said, I I am completely unsure as to how this is going to perform. Um, it came with a very glassy edge, just like the first one did. So I... Who knows what's gonna happen? I need to use it before we can figure anything out, right? Like, we just gotta use it. And then we had this really cool, I think this is called a half congress or something. Uh, this came in from my buddy Alex. I bought this off of him. Uh, he he offered it to me and I, and I, you know, it was actually really cute. He wanted to sell some knives to get his girlfriend a present for her birthday oh my gosh so I was like first of all the knife is awesome and second of all help help a friend out right so I shot him a hundred bucks and he sent me this gorgeous little traditional knife um that I have been using but I I didn't know if you guys had seen that yet uh we've obviously got the one of the best pry bars ever made probably the best pry bar ever made don't care what you say but the Mr. Nice bar is the ultimate um this came in been using this Brutal little scraper. This thing is awesome. I was using it at work to scrape labels off of the wall that the kids stuck on there because they think that's funny. And then we have to clean them up. So uh, 
pry bar has been a lot of fun to use so far. Uh, and then the last thing, it, this is just a, a little piece that just came in yesterday from River's Edge. Um, when I went out to Ohio, I went into the shop a couple times, obviously, to hang out, and I had seen this. I had seen a display of these little sharpeners on the counter, and I totally meant to buy one while I was there. Uh, and it was just so busy, I didn't. So the moment I got home from Ohio, I ended up placing a quick order over at River's Edge, and I bought this and then a few compounds and uh, had them shipped to me because uh, my friend Eric over at Indie Hammer on Instagram and YouTube, I'm pretty sure this is the sharpener that he brings to work with him to touch up his blades at work. And he said that he really likes it. And I have totally been in that predicament where I needed to touch up my knives at work and I just don't have anything to do that with. So I ended up picking this up and it's just a work sharp, little pocket sharpener. It's like, I, I would guess maybe six inches long. You've got a diamond plate on one side that's pretty coarse, honestly. And then a ceramic rod on the other to do your fine tuning and your honing. And I used it last night uh, because the Junko needed to be sharpened before I put it back in the case for a while. And I did use this. And man, this little diamond plate rips. Like, just a couple of passes and that crew wear burred right up. It was like mad toothy. So uh, this thing is sick. Uh, really brings up a wicked edge really quick. And then um, it, it was very, very toothy. Like, almost too toothy with just the diamond plate. It was like just alligator teeth central. So I flipped it over, did a few passes on the ceramic rod with that crew wear, and it really made that, that edge like crisp up a little bit and get cleaner. So um, I've only used this, you know, once last night, but I am going to keep using this and touching up my blades with it at work and stuff and just see how, how it fares. Uh, it's, it's really cool so far though from sharpening last night. And it's, it's like really comfortable to hold. I like how they made these finger grooves to hold it and they're like uh, rubber, I would say. Rubber or something. Really cool. So that's all the stuff that has, like, come in recently. I have, um, a few other things I'm waiting for, but I'm really kind of, like, slowing down with ordering things and stuff, because number one, I need to save my money for the move, and number two, I just don't want anything, like, coming to this address while I'm in Ohio. Like, that would be a bitch to try to get everything shipped over, so I'm kind of just, like, putting a halt on the spending, on the shipping, and focusing on, you know, getting out of here and moving out to Ohio. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Go use your shit. Um, go use your shit. Go use your shit. Go use your shit. And if you didn't know, we use our shit, and I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video.